Hello guys, I'm Nuke Keo, and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Icarus Uprising. In the last episode, we took off to get the Wish Seed from a phoenix, only to realize the Wish Seed stuff was all a lie from Hades! And now, pro trouble's probably brewing! Before we start this off though, I want to point out something on the tile screen that I didn't really mention. Ignore dark bit. I, that, that was from me trying to record this stuff. Ugh. On the tile screen here, you probably noticed the 40 Dree bag down here in the corner. This game is one of the few 3DS games to actually support Street Pass. Oh. Well, uh... <laughs> I guess I could show it over here on file one. Give me a second. So I'm on my original file, and yeah, I should have probably hit the street pass button, you know, in the main menu on my LP file. But uh, yeah, you can go and create a gem of your of a weapon that you own, and when you connect with other players who have street pass saved for Kinnick or Subrising they can receive your gem. You can essentially view the gems you received and you can redeem them. You, you can use your hearts to convert the, the, the gem into a weapon, which you can also view the stats, so, you know, it can have some good stuff. Spoilers for weapons, by the way. I don't think any of you very much care. Or you could turn them into hearts. And as you can probably see from the couple of Palutena me's looks incredibly weird. Uh, this game was a part of having Spot Pass content, which is essentially online content that was distributed whenever they felt like it. And you know, Palutena would send you some weapons occasionally, and they are generally pretty good. They they don't distribute them anymore, I don't believe, which is the same because they're pretty decent weapons from what I can tell. Anyway, yeah. You can also create gems, you can fuse them together to make even more crazy stuff if you want. It's pretty interesting. Kinda wish I had the idea to go into that button on this file because I could have used some stronger weapons. Speaking of stronger weapons, uh, what should I do? Let's check the arms deal, dealer. Could use a black club. That's pretty good. Violet palm. You're very good. Can't afford you though. Let's fuse weapons. Um. I'm not, not really one to be normally thoughtful about what weapons to fuse. Because I can never really consider what would be best. Let's, you know what, let's do this. Yeah, don't worry about it. Why not? Let's use an angel bow for this. Still need to cover all the weapon types, but we have plenty of time for that. But yeah, let's go into chapter 11. Uh, now seven, but it's close enough. Officer Pitt reporting for duty. The humans have fallen for Hades' hoax. They're killing themselves over that fantasy. It looks like entire nations are fighting each other. The Underworld Army is here to gather souls. That's just rude. Expect many casualties. We can't stop a war this big right now. Focus on the Underworld Army. Roger. Yeah, this is pretty unfortunate. Everyone fell for Hayes' plan. Worked a little too well. That's gonna be hard to deal with. So things are going exactly as Hades planned. Like I said. Rumor about the wish seed. And the humans were gullible enough to believe it. If only we had a chance to tell them the wish seed was a fake. Now look at them. It's like they've lost their humanity and all they have left is brutality. I'd say that's pretty normal for humans. Let's be very honest. <gasps> What's 
strong. I have to pull you back now. Huh? Whoa! Well, that's unfortunate. I forgot how good this song is. <laughs> but yeah. I guess we gotta deal with a new group of people. Twisted version of nature. It is pretty spooky. Yeah, this is... Forces of Nature are no joke. They are pretty tough hitting enemies, from what I recall. And from what you've seen so far, as you can see from my health bar, that's Sully just not me sucking, absolutely. Ugh. I remember this chapter in general being kind of rough to get through without dying. Well, that was very nice. Uh, are you okay, Pit? Now, Pit, you are the captain of Pelotina's guard, yes? I look forward to seeing how you fare against Kragalan. You should be more worried about how he fares against me. Careful, Pit. I need you in good shape. Besides you, all I've got are the Centurions. You know, maybe I should open a boot camp to toughen them up. Who wouldn't give them muscles like these? Whatever does work. Please, Palatia. Hey, could you more help? Or get more help. Good. There are survivors. There are stubborn bunch hanging on like that. Set as many free as you can. Uh, stubborn? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe what you meant to say was insignificant. Well, that's just rude. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can save... Any survivors, and you get items from them. Like a bomb. I mean, it makes sense. They were just kind of fighting. So, you know. Pretty impressed that they survived all, all this. It's pretty crazy. Oh, water. Cool. Let me just get killed by water. Can not be unfortunate to get killed by water? That doesn't involve drowning. 
Or maybe I am. Maybe it would cause me a drown. Yay! Thank you, chocolate. I need chocolate. I feel like... No, no. He can't go down there. Well, he can, but he'd probably, you know, take damage. Uh... Sorry if I seem a bit, um... Yeah, yeah, sure. What, whatever, late. <laughs> no. Um, I'm, I apologize if I seem kind of frazzled in this episode or part or whatever. Tonight hasn't exactly been the nicest of nights for me. I won't go into detail. It's kind of why there's been a shortage of videos before um, Chapter 10 released. I've been dealing with some health stuff and... I'm now just finally getting around to pouring now, and hopefully I can do more of this rather than having to keep you guys waiting for a week Thanks. or so. So yeah, I'm, I apologize about that. It looks like there used to be a hot spring here. Wait, there's a little water left. What's with you and hot springs? What's with you and not minding your own business? Dang it, pal! Dang it, dang it, Faridi! Dang it! I was supposed to enjoy water and it was only a type of health. You absolute monster. You evil being. Uh, yeah, those things can poison you. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can get this chest. I feel like something's gonna happen if I turn it on or pick it up. Or not, I might be thinking of something else. What that though? Don't want to deal with you though! Get out of here! <laughs> Where am I? Why did he try melee pit? I will say, I'm pretty lucky to have gotten away before that attack landed because those tree enemies can, this t can the wreck you up very badly and very quickly. And I, I'd prefer to, you know, avoid them as best as I can. Oh, yeah, also, yeah, dash attack seems to have really good homing in this weapon. Slow and not the most powerful, but pretty darn good homing. And curving and all that jazz. Okay, I heard that. Where are you? Oh, you're just water boy. Thank you, person dropping chocolate. I tried the hit that, whatever it is. Okay, I take back what I said. This weapon is actually pretty good. I just need to, you know, be more careful. I'm gonna take a heal. I'm probably doing this right before... Oh, jeez. You can't go any farther, so I set up a Thank you kindly. It's tangled in there, so I had to wind it around the trees. Calling you a snake would be an insult to snakes. But your crafts are good at that. Colonel! I, okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of you before you can start blasting us because that late little laser is a pretty big pain. Also, yeah, okay, goodness. Gracious. Thug is green, melee him. When he's red, shoot him. Alright, kinda learned that, Altan, thank you. How hard to him when he's using projectiles, though. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna stop. 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave him be. I, I'm sure I set that guy free. Um, <laughs> where was it going anyway? Um, oh, yeah, I forget how pretty interesting this level looks from just how it is. And they even used it in Smash for 3DS and eventually Smash Ultimate as a stage. You're a lucky angel, Pit. Believe me, I know. These things drive smooth. Plus, they provide protection and firepower. Is that good design or what? Well, I wouldn't know about smooth because, you know, I kind of let the first one I ever picked up in this LP get obliterated in, like, a few seconds. But yeah, this I guess I can finally show off the Aether Ring, like, proper. Glides around, has a little barrier that protects itself from any damage. Has pretty strong bullets. And it has a little glide if you start this falling downward. Big. Yeah. Uh, was I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm just trying to be as careful as can be. I should probably get back in because I have, like, no health right now. But, uh, yeah. Aether Ring's honestly probably one of my favorite vehicles in the game just because of how it moves. Also, I should probably shoot this guy. Shoot the little, uh, bud on top of the head and it'll be its weakness. Just stay away from it because it will not be nice to you. Much like that guy was trying to not be nice to you too. Also, I just realized I was shooting the Aether Ring up there. So I could have grabbed that. But now it's just damaged. So you know, good stuff. Um, 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 um. Actually, I am curious. I feel like I need to... Gra do use this anyway. Hold on. Never mind. It despawned. <laughs> oh well. Gotta leave this thing behind anyway. So, or maybe. Mm, yeah, I would have made it. It's like glidey, but not that good enough to glide over here. I don't believe. I could be wrong. What is this? A hot spring. A huge hot spring. It's nature's bathtub. Yay! The hot spring survived! Truly is the best of all days to be held. Get out of here, asparagus man. Hello, auto radical. Auto radical, it kinda gives you a camera. Camera? Camera? No, it changes your um, radical to focus in on enemies that are on screen, and yeah. I already said that. Pray darn decade. You gotta give her that. She knows her stuff. Unlike these guys who are now exploded into pieces. I feel bad now. Wait, why do I feel bad? This lady is trying to murder us! And humans! That's no good! I'm a human! I don't want to be murdered! I don't think most humans don't want to be murdered, to be honest. I think that's just the general deal thing. Okay. Super armor, please save me! Okay. There we go. That was probably the easiest time I've had with one of those things. They aren't exactly bad to deal with. But they're... Well, I say bad, but they aren't, like, deadly, per se. It's just really annoying to try and fight. 
He gotta be very precise with how you find him. Speaking of precise, Bone Man! Shoot the body! Don't get a prize because this is these are not eggs. It's kind of unfortunate. And now it can't shoot me. When it rattles its body like that, if one of the body parts are still there, it launches the bullet, but it doesn't, so now it's just the head. A very strong head. It gives you quite a bit of hearts, but you know. Oh hey, Souffle. Cool. Get back here. Let me have your life. Hearts. Oh, hi. <laughs> Pretty sure I've gone a circle in this maze. I know back there to the left was the end of the maze, but there could be stuff down here. You never know. Let's see. Ba da 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 da. Gotta deal with all the guys in the world. Okay, yeah. We're at the start of the maze. Let me run back here. Because there can be some goods and some more hearts to get by fighting these guys off. Let's see. Uh, nope, not that way. You're going down this way. I guess that's all of the maze. Not exactly the worst maze to deal with, but hey, melon. Melons are always a good time, and a burger. I think you're getting close to Crackleland. I'll just take care of these guys first. Let me just punch your face several times, ignore your pain and suffering, and now I gotta try ignoring your pain and suffering. That's how you deal with it. If it's running towards you, just do a sidestep. And yeah, don't get don't don't get get the stun thing. That's that it's paralysis is awful to deal with. Yeah, I should probably step back from everything that's trying to murder me. That's generally a good idea with most things in life. I feel like I'm panicking. I'm most likely panicking. Especially because you have to deal with this thing. And it's not exactly the easiest to hang your bullets at the weak points. There we go. Especially if it's homing attacks like this. Please let me have some sort of health. I am literally going to die. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know if going in here before you're fully healed affects how much health you have at the start. I want to say uh, it you will start with full health if you pick up regardless of it, if you enter the loading area. But I don't want to risk it. Huh? What are you? A monster truck? Pit, huh? What are you? A hole in the ground? Well, that's just true. He doesn't talk much, does he? He's a box. Last I checked, they're more of a strong silent type. Tell you what, I'll do the talking for it. Dragonlance Crush! Well, nice moves. he seems very nice. So that's what you, that's that's why I had to wait for the whole week to get a video out. It was because this guy was getting ready. Oh. There we go. Yeah, get that little spot on his bottom and he'll go down pretty fast. As long as you don't go fa down fast. Definitely 
Thank you for eating. Unlace a few shots there. Okay, what is going on? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that guy kind of does stuff sometimes like that. Yeah, that's what he did. Oh, rude! Yeah, his attacks are getting a little more dangerous. I need to focus here! I hate that. It's so instant. No! That was terrifying! And that's even more terrifying! Wow! I don't think I've seen an attack just ignore the critical status before. I'm totally not embarrassing myself with these videos, guys. Ugh. Okay, let's get this done. No, he doesn't. Anyway, just best suggestion just try melee him on his bottom. Because that can't that that's usually your chance to stun him. If you can land it. Homing attacks, surprisingly, aren't very good when you're winning precise hits. It, your, your shots with this weapon don't typically hit the bottom. So it works better when you have control. Anyway, yeah, let's just punch him in the face. Uh, get that healing going. Pit, shut up. <laughs> I'm not in a mood! I don't think anyone is, to be honest. Nope, missed that. I keep missing. Definitely gonna set a good example for my gameplay footage style with these next few videos. That's what happened to me. I got trapped in that. Yeah, that... It's just nuts. <laughs> Pit, why, why, why would you go in front of his face? Well, that's one attack we haven't gotten to see, so... Yeah, I should've probably ran. Okay, can you die, please? Please? I'm begging you! Sir? Sir! Sir! I am so mad at myself. And your rock face. That's your idea of a victory taunt? Please. Maybe don't go into this level with a homing weapon. It kind of sucks. That or I suck. Probably that. You put on quite a show there. But you should know that the next reset bomb is very nearly complete. Hmm. Now where do you think I should drop it this time? <laughs> you can't do that! First Hades, now Veridi. We need to figure out a plan. I sure do need to figure out a plan if I'm going to keep losing like that awfully. Holy cow. Anyway, yeah, new um, challenge board has been unlocked. Vridi's treasure hunt. Yeah, there's multiple of these things. It's honestly terrifying. But yeah, um, okay, yeah. That sucked. Next time on Let's Play Kick is Uprising. Maybe I could suck less.
See you guys then. I don't, I don't even know how to end this video. That... Ugh... Jeez, dude. Mmm...